Thank you, Paul. My background is uh, I'm a retired Navy captain. I'm a retired landscape architect and currently working as a zoning administrator in the town of Elmore, which is smack dab in the middle of the district. Um, over the years, I've spent uh, a lot of hours in committee work with, uh, was one of the founding directors of the Stowe Land Trust. I've been on the Regional Planning Commission. I've been uh, on the Stowe Rescue Squad. Uh, been on various uh, various committees and the Stowe Community Church president down there, uh, and just lots of opportunities to to gain consensus from board members. Um, I would like to represent this district in Montpelier, specifically for the main purpose of of trying to control the uncontrolled spending that's going on down there. Well, I think uh, we need to have a little bit more accountability from the the uh, people that are spending the money. And the people that are spending the money are also the ones preparing budgets. And those budgets have to be approved by school boards and school superintendents. And ultimately, it all devolves to the legislature to to come up with the answer. I think we need to make people more accountable. We need to get the per pupil spending down to a reasonable level, and we need to stop the bleed. The, one of the major bleeds is the teacher's pension. Um, it needs to be funded, uh, but it also needs to be uh, paid for on a yearly basis so that we don't get into huge deficits uh, on the pension issue. Well, I think, uh, I've been involved in the planning and permitting end of uh, housing for many, many years, and find that the permitting is is uh, quite a quite a holdup. Now you can't blame it all on Act 250. I think a lot of it has to do with zoning, starting right at the local level. Uh, the legislature in the past year or so uh, created uh, zoning opportunities to allow for increased density in in villages that have sewer and water and i think we have to make it easier for uh, people to create housing in those areas they've also allowed for increased density in residential areas to uh, allow for for uh, to reduce the cost of of uh, getting the house site ready to go well i think the homeless population uh, needs all the help that it can get it's a, it's a tragedy to see this happening. Uh, I've been to several churches where they serve breakfasts and, and I get to see a lot of homeless people. The, uh, the answer I don't think is at the state level. I think it starts right at the local level. The local level has to acknowledge the problem and it has to uh, come up with some local solutions to the problem. Um, and I think the legislature can help the locals by by uh, affirming the housing crisis and affirming uh, ways to to resolve it. Well, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go right to your second uh, part of the question first. Uh, I believe that every vehicle that uses the highways uh, should be paying their fair share. Uh, we hear Bernie Sanders talk about fair share. Well, we can bring that back to the local level. I think uh, electric vehicles need to pay just as much as gasoline vehicles do. The gas vehicles uh, pay for it through the gasoline tax. Uh, and also, all those trucks you see on the highway have a significant impact with, with excise taxes. Uh, thousands and thousands of dollars every year for every truck you see on the road. Uh, those trucks are, are making their contribution to highways. So we need to get the electric vehicles uh, in into the formula somehow. I work uh, closely with the highway departments here in Elmore, and uh, they have been making significant strides along with the state of Vermont in improving bridges and uh, having a whole uh, program to replace culverts. And every time culverts are replaced, they review the uh, sizing and to make sure that the engineering aspects of the culverts are, are tended to. Um, they're also working very closely with a lot of the uh, the uh, 
conservation districts on stormwater uh, attenuation matters. It's, uh, I can see it right here every day in Elmore, uh, at Lake Elmore, reducing the um, sedimentation going into the lake. And I think that's going on along the Lamoille River and also the Little River and also over in the uh, Woodbury and Worcester areas on the North Branch. I'm still at the stage of listening to both sides of the argument. And uh, I think that it's very personable with a lot of people. Um, it's a very personable issue. Uh, I don't think either side has, has a majority of the opinions. And I think it's a continuing discussion. Um, I have religious uh, beliefs, uh, which I follow. And I'd also like uh, to listen to and respect other opinions. Well, I think uh, my background in planning and being in committee work has always been to reach consensus of some kind. Uh, and we see this every day in, in development projects, either whether it be commercial, industrial, residential. Uh, everybody in the room has to speak up and has to be part of the solution. And I don't think that the legislature is working together very well. And I would like to uh, go down and help help to resolve that uh, problem down there. I think for one side or the other to have a majority uh, hammer, so to speak, and bludgeon the other side to death, I think there needs to be more discussion and more consensus on items. And I think we'll all be the better for it. 